guys, welcome, welcome. Today, we um, have a wonderful guest with us uh, who's waiting over at the cafe right now. And her name is Spectissa! Spectissa! And we are going to be trying a wonderful tea today. And that tea is a, um, it is a French vanilla black tea. Kitty Club is a monthly segment I host right here on my Twitch channel where we bring in a guest and we try a brand new tea that neither of us have tried before here with you guys. So that way you guys can drink the same tea along with us so we can all have an experience together or we can all just chill and hang out and the guests and I can enjoy a cup of tea. And then maybe you're like, wait, Kisa, I want to try that tea too. It sounds really good. And I'm like, well, don't worry. Here, here's the name of it. And you're like, wow, thank you. Because that, that, that's happened sometimes. It's, that doesn't just sound like a fictional story. It's happened. It's happened. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in, Erinyan. Um, But yes, thank you guys so much for being here. It really means so, so, so much to me. Um, we're going to go ahead and go onto the brewing screen. Um, so if you guys are enjoying a cup of tea with us, then this is your opportunity to go ahead and start uh, your, your, your hot water or pour your hot water into your mug and get your get your your cup of tea ready okay guys alrighty alrighty well see you guys soon okay BRV Welcome to the Kitty Cafe, Spectissa. Welcome. Thank you. It's very nice in here. It is very nice. There's this nice little um, kettle over here. Uh, very well designed, in fact. Oh, wow. That, lo that looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, it's not like uh, you're a beautiful, wonderful uh, graphic designer or anything like that. You're not... It's not like you designed it yourself, perhaps? I mean, that could definitely be why it looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show, Spectissa! Spectissa, welcome, welcome here. Spectissa is a really good friend of mine, a VTuber, and also an artist. Would you like to uh, introduce yourself? Sure. Hello, everybody. I am the Elven Princess Spectissa. I'm also an artist, and I am the uh, Elf Goth Gia equivalent of hell yeah over here <laughs> <laughs> my ears go horizontally though mm -hmm. well thank you so much for being here i appreciate you i appreciate you thank you for having me mm -hmm. so fun fact everyone actually uh spectissa spectissa um <laughs> did design some elements of this cafe if you guys see all of the cups um and all of the the, the kettles as well um designed those herself and uh you if you know me uh you'll know that i pretty much couldn't be happier because they're perfect so thank you so well, much for all your tail. hard work <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Like, honestly, honestly. Um, let's see. What was I? I felt like I was going to say something and then I kind of blinked out a little bit. Um, Spectissa, uh, do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about your interest in tea? Like, what sort of tea you like to drink? Since obviously you came on the show, you definitely like it at least a little bit. <laughs> I do. I do. I like uh, pretty much what we're trying today. I love vanilla teas and I love black teas. Mm. And those are, this combines both of those things. So I'm very, very excited. My favorite is definitely Earl Grey. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Earl Grey is really, really good. Um, I, I've kind of like started uh, 
trying out like different kinds of uh, of black teas. In fact, uh, I mentioned this last episode, but I didn't even know that uh, all tea was made out of the same plant until recently. I, I didn't even know that. Isn't that interesting? Like, you wouldn't think that because of how different, like, everything kind of tastes, you know? Yeah, and the caffeine content is, like, completely different as well. I think it's like it's like one of those things like when you take uh when you take grapes and you make it into grape juice but if you age it oh. then you can make it alcoholic you know it's oh, just like true yeah 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 <laughs> and like whites versus reds so I guess I guess mm -hmm. it is like in the production yeah it's super interesting if you guys haven't watched uh episode one of kitty club uh my my guest leaflet actually told us all about that so <laughs> we all learned quite a bit that day Mm -hmm. uh, so today, the tea that we have is uh, Bigelow, the Bigelow brand, uh, French vanilla black tea, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I believe all of us have uh, a glass with us right now, right? I do. <sighs> Very warm. It smells delicious. It does. It does. Mm. The caramel is like it smells caramelly. Am, am I am I missing that? Am I missing that at all? <laughs> it definitely has like a creme brulee um, mm. kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. I. It's so hot though. I can't drink any yet. I know. I'm just like holding it, <laughs> keeping <laughs> my hand warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the table's right below an air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're lucky. You're lucky. Ah, oh, dang. I can't stand being too cold, though. I hate being underneath air conditioners. Like, when you're in a restaurant and you're right underneath an air conditioner, it's just, like, blowing on the back of your neck the whole time. It's also usually so dusty and gross. <laughs> That's true! You don't know when they freaking clean that at all! You're like, what, what, other than the air, what else is getting on me? I could be getting... And your food! <laughs> true! True! Your food, too! Yeah, it just, it's, it feels sketchy. It feels sketchy, oh, man. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> sprinkling some nutrients. <laughs> Ew! It's probably far from nutrients. <laughs> oh, Waffle House, though. Waffle House is always, like, the coldest. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But Waffle House is the best place to go when, like, no other place is open. Oh, true. Like, <laughs> it's either, like, 4 a.m. or... Actually, no, that's pretty much the only time you go to Waffle House. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 4 a.m., uh, hungover, um... Full uh, cosplay at a convention. Yeah! <laughs> exactly like um it's kind of funny too um as you say that because uh we have actually speck and i have actually cosplayed together we've gone to conventions together super fun it's been super fun yeah um let's see what was our our first cosplay together wasn't it was it panty and stocking i think it was yeah yeah was which is really crazy. I feel like it's really cool how that actually happened because, uh, so like how Spec and I met is we met through a uh, Twitch a Twitch community um, in uh, Georgia, and then uh, we were like, "Wow, we're polar opposites. This is awesome, <laughs> amazing!" Oh, that first picture though, like we had the same outfit silhouette, like our skirts and shirts were the same shape, but you were all pastel and I was all black. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, so much fun. And then we're like, yo, we should cosplay together. And then we did. Mm -hmm. And then we did. Like, can I just say, at least probably just growing up, and it's just probably just because I was young before, but whenever you make, like, plans with, like, friends you've been friends with for years, and you're like, okay, let's cosplay this at a con. And I feel like it never, ever happened. But then, like, with you and I, it's just like, hey, person I just met, let's do a <laughs> cosplay together at this freaking con. And then and we- it was in, like, two months. Yeah! <laughs> and we actually did it! We did it! <laughs> It was so much fun. I never want to wear heels to a convention like that again. Though. Oh my god. Do you wanna do you wanna tell everyone what happened? Oh god, yeah, I've talked about it on my screen. <laughs> I I wore like six and a half inch heels for like god, we were walking around for probably at least ten hours. For real. We weren't though. even together the entire time. And <laughs> my toenail fell off because <laughs> <laughs> because the shoes were too tight and my feet went numb <laughs> and my toes were bruised. <laughs> 
And I haven't worn heels since because I'm too scared. I mean, it grew back. I got better. <laughs> I don't Beauty know. is pain. It really is. So I don't know why I love that story so much. Oh my god! It it did get better. It did get better. Yeah. It did get better. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You know, all for the sake of beauty, and we were fucking beautiful. Let me tell you. We ya. were. I, that was super fun. And then and then we switched aesthetics. That was also fun. <gasps> That's true. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. We we got together and like we did like a bunch of uh <laughs> we did a bunch of TikToks and uh Spec was dressed, you know, basically like literally just look at us. Just opposite. So we completely went the opposite. And it was like so it was so funny because like I was looking at Spec and she's like so clearly uncomfortable. <laughs> These bright ass clothes. <laughs> I had never worn that much color. <laughs> but it was so fun. God, that was such a good day. That was. Oh my goodness. The sushi though, like I haven't oh. been to a revolving sushi place since, but I want to go good. back. Me too, me too. They have some in uh, Cali, but I don't know where else. Atlanta, Georgia is mm. one of those interesting places where it has like a little bit of everything. True. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, but let's see, this tea, um, let me see if it's, uh, if it's cool enough. I'm gonna, like, blow on it and possibly burn the shit out of my tongue. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't burn the shit out of my tongue. I might have burned the back of my throat a little bit, but... <laughs> it was worth it. This is really bit... good. Yeah. Mmm. <sighs> oh. Oh, this is good. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's like creamy, but without being like too overwhelmingly creamy. If you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably should take my bag out. I don't want it to get to like too. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> That's like I one of those check. interesting things too about like tea. Like one of the things about like tea is like, well, first off, temperature. Temperature is like a big thing. But then like also like how long you let it steep is also like a big thing. Oh yeah. I I usually like, I can't stand when like black tea gets too strong, but I love super strong green tea. Ooh, so I usually like leave yeah. the green tea in there. Yeah, I know that there's some people that uh, they'll, they'll, well, there's some particular kinds of tea that like, it's kind of meant to be used over and over again, like the same bag. Oh yeah. But like, I'm always afraid to do that because I don't want to like get some hot water and then like use a tea bag again and then it tastes like nothing and then I'm like disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want to be yeah. disappointed. No, I feel that. I kind of do a thing where um, when I have like a super strong tea, I'll usually just like top it off with more hot water when it's getting towards the bottom. Oh. So it's like perpetually filling it up until like it starts to get weak and then I just get like, a new <gasps> tea bag. That's so smart. <laughs> what? I've never yeah. done that. Yeah, I also do like a similar thing with uh, cold tea. So I actually cold brew green tea all the time and I like just drink oh, it like throughout the day. so good. And I just like throw lots of tea bags in a pitcher with cold water and usually some like strawberries or something too <gasps> if I have them. And I just let it like sit for like a day and then like I just keep adding more water than like more tea bags as it gets weak. And then like once every three days I like clean it really good. And it's just that so good. That sounds so good. Oh my gosh. You know what? I uh, I learned recently on TikTok because TikTok is the place where you learn things and whether or not they're actual real things or they're just fake is, you know, that's a whole other thing. But there was a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's like um, they were teaching you how to like do like a, a cold brew uh, yourself. And, and I don't know if this is accurate and you guys can tell me if it's not. But it was like... There's like a basically a bed of ice and then you put loose leaf tea on the ice and then it so when it melts, the ice melts with the the tea leaves, it kind of like infuses it, I guess, like a cold brew. And then like you can take that and then it's like basically like concentrated tea and so that you can add more water into it and then like whatever sweetener you want. And I thought that was really interesting. Oh, I've never heard of that before. With I ice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it like the the tea uh the tea over ice. Over ice. Yeah, it's really interesting. I want to try it. I want to try it, and I'll report back. I'll report back. Yes, please do. I, I love cold brew. I usually have, like, 
two varieties of like cold tea at any Ooh. given time because I just like I hate drinking water. <laughs> so it's like the way I, I drink. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. Hey, if that's the one way to get hydration in, you know, we'll take mm -hmm. it, right? For oh, sure. someone else says they heard of this too. Okay, so so maybe maybe it's not a hoax. Maybe it's not a hoax. <laughs> I'll find out. I'll find out. But what do you guys think about this tea? Do you guys like it? I feel like this would be really good with like a cinnamon roll. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I completely agree. Once I took oh, yeah? a sip of the tea when you said that, the flavor combination in my head. Just perfect. Right? Just perfect. Or a sweet roll. Do you like do you like sweet rolls? Sweet rolls are good. You know what I really like too? Um uh apple fritters. Ooh, I love apple fritters. And um like little they they were really popular in Georgia, like those uh triangular apple pies. Did you ever have those? No, I haven't. It's kind of like a fried pie. Um huh. it's like folded in on itself. Mm. They were popular in like the mountain area but like i grew up on those and they're so good that sounds good i'll have to Just make it all of those <laughs> make a trip back to georgia and try them for sure <laughs> yummy oh i'm so glad to hear that you guys like the tea as well the smell and the taste com uh, combined and is good yes it is has a good smell and like a different taste. You know how like you smell something and you eat something, it tastes exactly the same. It's nice because you knew what you're expecting and you got it, but it's almost a little bit disappointing because it's just like, well, damn, there was no special ending, you know? It has like a nice, it, a nice aftertaste. Like it doesn't like completely go away. Oh, they're yeah. called apple turnovers. Oh, <laughs> apple turnovers. I gotta be honest, the only apple turnovers that I think I've really had is like, the ones that are like pre-made in grocery stores and the Pillsbury ones. Oh no, those those aren't those aren't <laughs> the same. <laughs> yeah, I imagine not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, like uh, Northern Georgia is apparently like called the apple capital. Really? Um, yeah, like there's oh. some areas that like have a lot of apples. So I grew up going to like a lot of farmhouses that like <gasps> sold the homemade pies. That's so nice. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually the Apple Capital. You know, like how every place says they're world, world famous. Oh my God, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh -huh. Either way, they were good. For sure. I actually, um, I went up to Northern Georgia and I went to an apple orchard there. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like you, you like, I feel like that's true. Just because, I don't mm. know, up there's a ton of like orchards. Oh yeah. They're, they're everywhere. <laughs> I like me some orchards. When I lived in uh, Indiana, um, my family would go to orchards often, actually. Um, like every single fall, we would go there and we'd get pumpkins, actually. We would get pumpkins and then uh, we would get like a big bag of apples or uh, we'd go earlier in the season and we'd pick our own apples. And then like uh, my sister Shiki would make the most amazing apple pies. Oh my God. So good. I want some now so bad. I know. Like, there's nothing beats, nothing beats like a fresh, like, homemade apple pie. With honestly. ice cream. Vanilla bean <gasps> yes. ice cream. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then, honestly, you know, like a cup of this tea. That'd be a pretty that good combination. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? So perfect. <clears throat> yeah, I, um... I grew up in, like, the northern area, so, like, whenever we, uh, had field trips as you know, little elves, <laughs> we, uh, we would actually go to the orchards and they would just take us there for like the morning and we'd pick apples. That's so and nice. And I thought that was normal. That's so cute though. I love that. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was your normal, you know? It was, it was, you know, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Apples are very important, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it turns out like they were actually uh, everybody that took you there. You know, they just invested heavily in apples, and so they just wanted mm -hmm. to trick you into uh, thinking the apples are important, so you'll invest in them long term. Actually, I think they were just kind of using us for free labor because we didn't <gasps> even get to keep the apples. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't get to keep them? <laughs> no, we just had to turn them in. <laughs> like we got to keep one. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we had to turn it our best. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> and, like, this happened, like, every, you know, during the fall, like, every few weeks we would, we would actually go because it was just... Um, the, the school actually owned an orchard, and <laughs> we would go, and I don't know what they did with them after. But... <laughs> they probably sold them for profit. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That, that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, we had a fun time doing it. They had someone that would dress up as Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> oh, really? It's like, looking back, it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> Oh my god. That's that's great. That's freaking great. Oh my gosh. Fun I was... fact, elves are used for slave labor in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call the police. <laughs> Someone call the police. Free them. <laughs> Free them! <laughs> I need our help. <laughs> oh my god! Instead of like the Keebler elves, it's like the Apple elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Holy fuck! <laughs> Do you ever think about like the the Keebler elves? Like, I feel like as a kid, I always saw commercials with the Keebler elves, but I feel like I never see them anymore. They always scared me. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I didn't trust them. <laughs> trust them i don't know like i i obviously i love elves but something about them i don't know like mm. Mm. running a bakery in a tree doesn't seem like a very safe uh business practice <laughs> i mean that's fair that's fair <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that they were like, well, the thing that, they, that I thought was a little bit weird was the fact that, like, I don't think a single one of them was young. I think all of them were older. So, like, wait, like, did they think, have? Oh, yeah. I don't like the main one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main one. Yeah. Like, the main one, I could, like, I don't know. Like, I just felt like there there weren't any Keebler kids around, you know? Mm -hmm. Did they ever have children? No. Is it a dying wait, business? About... What about the was Snap Crackle Pop? Were they elves? I don't remember the. I don't think they were. I did. The Snap no, Crackle. They, they were. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah, the Rice Krispies mascots. They also oh! had little pointy ears. They did. When you said Snap Crackle Pop, for some reason, I was thinking of um, uh, Crunch and Munch, and I was like, I don't think mm -mm. I don't think they had mascots. They didn't. But uh, yeah, they did have elves for um. The uh, Rice Krispies, Rice Krispies. Yeah, yeah. Snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah, so maybe, maybe they're like the Keebler elves is their like granddad or something. <laughs> maybe that would make sense. I feel like it I would. feel like the cereal and like dry goods universes are all connected in a way. You like mm -hmm. the tricks, tricks, and Captain Crunch. I feel like they all share a universe. I feel like they don't have their own worlds. They're just all part of like this one big vast world. That's like different that would, from ours. That would make sense, right? I mean, like, there are come a on. lot of furries in that world. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I mean, but hey, you know, it'd be really cool—a cartoon series about all of them, a big crossover. Waifu cereal mascot. <gasps> <gasps> right. <laughs> Yo! Okay, can we just talk about how Daddy Count Chocula would be, though? Ooh, oh, for sure. Yeah, right. I feel, I feel like I feel like Tony the Tiger as like, a, like he's a he's a tiger. Yeah, duh. I almost called him a lion, <laughs> even though tigers in his name. <laughs> Tony the Tiger, the lion. <laughs> Tony the Tiger, the lion. I feel like he would treat you right. You know, he would... Yes, right? He would give good hugs. I feel like he, he'd be like total Bara type, you know? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Super strong. Super duper strong. It's like, he could pick you up and like... He, he could uh he could save a princess from a tower, basically. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't think I trust the, um, the cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, dude. Yeah. I feel like... I think he would be a little chaotic to be around. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, I feel like he's like, he has to be like the cousin to, um, Roger Rabbit. He has that sort of chaos oh, energy. yeah. I see. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm just like looking up all these serial mascots. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. Has, has there there been, are. Have there been any notable new ones? I feel like we haven't really had any new ones since like we grew up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I um, I don't know. I feel like cereal is kind of going a little bit out of style. And this comes from someone who loves cereal. Like, I love Cheerios. <laughs> like, Cheerios are one of my favorite things. And, oh, I discovered last week Cheerios are shaped like little hearts now. Like, half of them are. Yeah, they're so cute. I didn't know that. And I, I thought I had a special box because it didn't say it on the box. And I was Aww. freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm eating hearts. <laughs> I know. I like. I want to like preserve one in resin or something because it was so cute. <laughs> yeah, I like. I think we outgrow cereal too, but like, I feel like whenever I go down the cereal aisle, I don't see any new mascots. You know, mm. I feel like, like they're all they're the like same. Rebranded. Yeah, for sure. Got to appeal to the kiddos, you know, and and now all the backs of like they're okay. Okay, so I don't know if you've had this too, but like when I was young growing up, um. Uh, I wasn't allowed to watch like TV while eating breakfast, but I would take the, the back of the cereal box and I would study that like a freaking <laughs> test right before the yes. night. Oh, yeah. I remember there was like a Oregon Trail history on the back of one of the cereal boxes and Ooh. it stayed like that for like eight years. And I like <laughs> read Dude, that was that made me so mad when they didn't change it often. I'm like, I've already seen this. Get me something new. I've already I freaking reading figured material. it out. <laughs> exactly. Like I would go through and I would like go in, I would sit there and I'd read every single ingredient, every little bit. I'm just yes. like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> For sure. It's like anything. I don't know, to just like keep us entertained. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, like, I, usually when I had cereal, I mean, growing up, I honestly had cereal for most breakfasts. Same, and same. if it wasn't before school, it was on Saturday, and then <gasps> I was watching TV for sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I that's think, I think the top cereal I ate as a kid was uh, Reese's Puffs. Dude, I, okay, so, like, I always wanted that, and it's always one of my favorites. In fact, I have a, I have a box of the Reese's Puff bunnies still in my house. Oh. <laughs> They're so cute. But, uh, yeah, Reese's Puff I loved and Cookie Crisp, but, like, my family was like, nope, this has no nutritional value, so they'd only get it every once in a while. Only every once in a while. My family was like, oh, it's chocolate and peanut butter. Peanut butter has protein, I guess. That's, sure. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Oh, Abba, Abba said that she did every cereal box crossword. Same! Every one? I just like I would usually just draw on the box. I don't <laughs> I don't word good. So. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. See, I I feel like getting a pen was difficult for me. Like I I would just do it with my fingers and I'd be like, "All right, well, this is a thing. This is a thing. This is a thing." I would love to do uh sudokus in like the newspaper and oh, stuff too. Yeah. I'm pretty good at sudoku. It doesn't it doesn't have words. <laughs> It's true. It, it doesn't. It does. I've recently got an app for Sudoku because I'm like, I kind of miss doing it, you know? Ah, I, yeah. I need that, honestly. You got games on your phone? <laughs> you, know, like, you, got, you got games on your phone? <laughs> I'm just on TikTok all the time if I'm on my phone. Dude, I don't I have like any games anymore. Yeah, I don't have any games. So here's my problem. I feel like I always get addicted to games on my phone. Um... But now I just I'm, I'm addicted to watching TikToks instead, so I just I just swap to what I do and waste hours on. Yeah, fair, fair enough. Yeah, but sometimes I'll be like, I'll do it Sudoku. Gotta keep my brain young, I guess. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Mm. Ah, if any of you guys just got here, by the way, what do you guys think of the tea? If you guys are drinking the same tea as us. It was really good. Oh, you know what I wanted to talk about is uh, Bigelow. So the brand Bigelow, which is the brand that we got today, it's uh, the Bigelow French Vanilla Black Tea. It's always been like really, I guess it's just always been down the, the aisle with the tea for me. So like the two mm -hmm. teas that I always think about is like Bigelow. And do you remember the other one? It's like called Celestial something. Seasonings. Celestial yes. Seasonings. Yes. Yeah, my, uh, my all time favorite tea is by that brand. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite tea? Uh, it's called Tension Tamer, and it actually has a dragon on the box. 
and it's of been course. my favorite since middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it because of the dragon. Um, <laughs> Because you 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 know I like dragons, um, <laughs> but it also was like super good and it has been like my favorite. So I actually buy it in bulk um, now, so I always Ooh. have it. Oh, <laughs> that's smart. That's smart. Oh, and Twinnings. Yeah, Twinnings was always at twinnings. the groceries. Always at the grocery store. It was always down there. I feel like Bigelow was the one that they only had a few in, mm. and it was mostly just the 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 celestial seasonings and the Twinnings though. Yeah, like, I always I always associate like Bigelow with um I guess like basic teas, like ooh. basic black or English breakfast. And uh -huh. then ce celestial seasonings, I feel like is really good at herbal teas. Yes, I agree. That was what I always got from them. I'd always get the the, the herbal teas. It's like, oh man, I'm gonna have some orange tea and some peach tea, you know? Yeah, for sure. I actually think the Tension Tamer one has catnip in it, so you know, you might like it. <laughs> I'm gonna order that on Amazon right after oh, this. No. <laughs> and if I can't stop drinking it, I'm blaming you. Getting Liddy. Gotta get that Liddy tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I wanna I wanna try more of that. I feel like uh I feel like I wanna kinda go back and maybe have like a special episode where like I try all the teas that I grew up on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like all I'm, of them. I'm always so picky. I, I really only associate Earl Grey and Titchen Tamer. And also I just mm. checked and it does have catnip. So, you know. <laughs> it's confirmed. It's, it's confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh man. Maybe I'll maybe I'll I'll get it. I'll get it in like I don't know when. Sometime soon. Sometime soon I'll try it. <laughs> you should like draw Kisa like opening her jacket like a drug dealer, but instead <gasps> of drug bags, it's little tea bags. It's like, hey kid, you wanna buy some tea? Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna do that! <laughs> I'm gonna do that! That's so funny! <laughs> oh man. You wanna buy some catnip? <laughs> <laughs> hey kid. You want some tea? want some catnip tea but don't tell your friends unless they have money for sure <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man yeah but i, I I'm, gl I'm glad that we're trying this one it's really good and like mm. Mm. I feel like um, black tea is a pretty a pretty common favorite, but the fact that they can make black teas that are non-caffeinated, I wonder like how they do that. Oh, this doesn't have caffeine in it. Yeah, well, no, no, no. These ones do, but you can get the decaffeinated oh. version. Yeah, because I had someone in the community say like, "Oh, I really want to try it. I just can't have caffeine." And I'm like, so oh, I looked wow. it up, and Bigelow does a decaffeinated of a lot of their teas, so you can try it without oh, it. That's awesome. Right? I, I I kind of am a caffeine junkie, so <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> no, I feel it. Caffeine's like, especially like when we're like arting all day and sometimes like sitting in front of a screen for hours and you're just like, uh, feeling a little bit groggy. But the tea oh, really yeah. does wake you up. Oh, it does. Like, mm -hmm. that's why I mainly drink like green tea. <laughs> so like my equivalent of water is also caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> I have but to hey. be like constantly vibrating in order to be productive. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep it going. Keep it going. True. It's like it's like it's like when uh it's like when you have that machine at work or something like that. So where like it always has this one bug with it and you just deal with it because aside from that one annoying little bug, it works perfect. So you just put up with it. It's like no no no, it's fine, it's fine, you know? Fine. You know. <laughs> It, it's it makes, a healthy probably not but you know what right. it, works. it like, makes this clanking noise like every single time it prints something but hey the colors come out fantastic i don't want to know what's wrong with it it does fine job otherwise fine <laughs> oh goodness gracious so so i wanted to ask you too um Spec, do you have like, uh, do you put anything in your tea other than just water like do you do sugar honey milk or anything like that um, I sometimes put honey in it, but not always. Hmm. It just depends if I want a little sweetness. For sure, um, for sure. 
My favorite like kind of tea latte is actually called a London Fog. I don't know if you've heard of it before. Yes, I've tried it for the first time about a month ago. Mm, it, ha- it has like the frost, uh, froth, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the frothed milk <laughs> and, it's, and honey is super duper good. Yeah, it's really good. I feel like it's like not too much of either, but it's like just mm-hmm. enough. Mm-hmm. I always drink it. Um, I always get it from Starbucks around Christmas time because oh. it's like so warm. That's true. That's true. That sounds so nice. Oh, here's a good question. What kind of drinks do you have around uh, the holidays? Are there any certain uh, certain kinds of like hot or cold beverages that you have to have around the holidays? Ooh, uh, wassail. What's Back that? To apples. Oh, it's it's spiced uh, apple cider. So spiced hot <gasps> apple cider. Ooh. Um, it's called wassail. I want to try. Uh, yeah, usually for Christmas, my um, my family goes and visits, uh, I don't know if you've heard of the Biltmore House, mm. but it's like a really big fancy house that looks like a castle, <gasps> um, and we usually spend our Christmas there, and they have like a specialty blend of um, wassail, and we always get it from there, and then bring some home and what? drink it on Christmas morning, yeah. That's and such just- a delightful, like... What? Yeah, it's so good, and we usually um, we usually eat it with uh, spiced or spiced orange cinnamon rolls, and that's like <gasps> all, our Christmas breakfast every year. Oh my gosh, that's such a nice <laughs> tradition. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god, I like I like spicy things, <laughs> even yes, sweet. Spicy elf. Spicy elf. <laughs> you like you like spicy things too. You also like really hot noodles, right? I do. I do. I'm a glutton for punishment. I dang <laughs> love spicy things. Like if it makes me cry, then we're good. <laughs> Those are bonus points. <laughs> yes, yes. I'd be lying if I said I haven't had snot going down my face, tears rolling down my eyes while slurping up some really really spicy noodles. <laughs> Have you tried like those uh I forgot what they're called, but they're like, it's a thing to try them for YouTube. They're the, like notorious the Samyang, hot. Samyang so. two times spicy noodles. Yeah, have you have you tried those? I have, I have, I eat them on kind of the reg. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're like this is just lunch. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, my uh, mom's here. Hi, mom. <gasps> Hi, hi, mom. I love you. <laughs> yeah, death noodles. Yeah, they say that like it's like a big challenge to like eat that and like um but 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 here's the thing, okay? So the way that you're supposed to do it, the challenge is like no broth at all. You like you literally pour out all the broth and you just have the spicy sauce. So that kind of makes it like really really intense and every single noodle is just coated in it. But usually what I do, so it's so good. It's it's so good. I I do eat death for lunch. <laughs> Well, Karuri said that uh, you use it as a base for tekoboki, uh, the mm. Korean spicy rice cakes. I literally was talking to you about this the other day. That's my favorite food. It's so good. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, spicy rice cakes are best. They're so good. Yeah, they sell that. They sell the sauce. They sell the sauce for those the, those noodles separate, so you can just put it on anything. I what? Yeah, I need to learn how to make these. Like, I I love those so much. I think it's pretty easy. We've made it a couple times, like here at home. It's really good. Oh yeah, because like the the dumpling is basically just like a big rice noodle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a chunk of rice. It's a chunk. It kind of looks like mozzarella sticks. It does look like a mozzarella <laughs> stick, and honestly, it almost like the texture is really similar depending on like how you yeah. cook it. <laughs> And actually, you know, some people like to eat it with cheese. I, mm-hmm. I don't think that would be good, so I haven't tried it. Really? No, oh, it's so good with cheese. It's so good with cheese. I think that you should try it. Unless, like, unless you're not a big cheese person. I'm technically lactose intolerant, oh. but <laughs> that doesn't stop me. <laughs> Are you one of those kind of people who is lactose intolerant, but if you want a milkshake, you're like, fuck it, I'm getting a milkshake. Yeah, uh, my weakness, though, is pizza and, like, mozzarella sticks like fried mozzarella sticks. dude i watched this uh i watched this tiktok recently okay and it was like hey do you want to eat like eight mozzarella like 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 sticks of mozzarella and they're like oh god no why why would i want to sit there subject myself to eight like the chunks of mozzarella that's so much and they're like all right what if i deep fry them and give you a side of marinara sauce and they're like oh yeah g- give me the, give me all of them 
Sign me up. <laughs> Oh, I saw something similar, and it was like, uh, Subway has really conditioned us to eat an entire loaf of bread in one second. <laughs> oh, no, you're so right! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, yeah. Gotta it's love that. It's so true. It's so true. Like, listen, if they didn't make food so good, we wouldn't have this problem. Do you see that Subway bread is actually not considered bread because of the sugar content? It's what? considered a dessert. Um, I forgot what country it was, but they were trying to like get a tax exemption or something. But apparently, legally, their bread could not be taxed as regular food. It was like dessert or a luxury item or something because of the sugar content. <laughs> Something, something along those lines. It was a few months ago. I'll have to like look it up. But <laughs> what the fuck? It's considered so, like, cake. Yeah, if you look up like Subway bread, not bread. <laughs> yeah, it was in um, Irish court rules. <laughs> wow. It's not legally classified as bread <laughs> <laughs> That's... because wow. the sugar uh, makes up ten percent of the weight of the flour. <laughs> Okay, that is a lot. I that is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a lot. Yep. <laughs> but you know I what? love my foot long cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I love my foot long cakes. I'm crying. You know what, what bread is good though? The freaking bread and um uh firehouse subs. Oh. <gasps> oh, I oh. love firehouse subs. They're they're meatball <sighs> subs. It's so don't get me started on meatball subs, Spectusa. Don't get me started on meatball subs. I mm. hate meatball subs so much. I what? hate them. I hate them. What? what? I, I Excuse me? Nani? <laughs> I I hate them. I don't like... <gasps> I've never had a meatball sub... Okay. For those of you who don't know, I do not like meatball subs. And, and perhaps it's just the meatball subs that I've tried. But the thing is, so when you get a meatball sub and they got like the meatballs on it and the sauce on it, it makes the bread all soggy and it's disgusting and wet and gross and I hate it. <laughs> I will like drink marinara sauce, so maybe I'm a little biased. But, but the bread gets all soggy. Like, okay, listen. I don't care. I love it. I have vivid memories of my childhood looking at a dog bowl. We had a dog and their pellets would fall from their food bowl into their water bowl. And just seeing that floating piece of dog food just be like full of water and gross and soggy makes me feel sick to my stomach. And to this day, I cannot stand any sort of breadish sort of thing that's like soaked up like <laughs> I hate it. Dude, I in college I would get like one of those one dollar loaves of bread and then dip it. Just dip it in some spaghetti sauce and I would eat that. <laughs> yeah, but but that, that that's fine. I think that's fine because it's like I mean, it's the same. Like no, it's not I mean, the same, it's not the same! I eat the sub so fast it doesn't have a chance to get that soggy. <laughs> Well, I guess like I'm just gone. a slow eater then. <laughs> Dude, I love tres leches. Have you have you tried tres leches cake? Oh yes, it's so good. That's soggy bread. But it's, it's soggy sweet bread. But it's different because it tastes like sugar. But you said it was the texture you had a problem with. Okay, but listen, somehow <laughs> that one works. And I will admit that the texture is very peculiar and strange, but it's really good. And I don't know why it works, okay? You can hit me up with some of that, but not that meatball sub. <laughs> Ooh, spaghetti sandwich. Mm. Okay, so there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a meme in my community. Well, because I really hate spaghetti put, being put in, in the wrong places. Spaghetti in wallets, spaghetti in uh, bags. And so the, the fact that someone just brought up a spaghetti sandwich makes me very angry. Have you ever had like a spaghetti grilled cheese? No. Why would I have that? <laughs> I am like the master of struggle meals. Like, oh, you are actually. Yeah, like I... <laughs> Give me a microwave, some <laughs> bread, and a random fridge, and I could like make a five course meal. <laughs> Dude, wait, you should tell them about the meal, the the quote unquote meal oh, that you God. made when your power that was, was out. That was a special instance. So I live in I live in the kingdom of Texas, and we had that freeze happen a few uh, months ago, 
and we didn't have a lot of food. All we had was hot dog buns and Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> so we made hot dog buns and Dorito sandwiches and just ate it. <laughs> and it kind of slapped. <laughs> I just got a picture sent to me of it, and I just started <laughs> laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> it was good. I ate that for three days. <laughs> three <laughs> days! We didn't have no! any other food. Our power was out. Uh, uh, but <sighs> it kind of evolved. When we got power back, we were able to, like, fry an egg. Ooh! So, <laughs> so we did, like toasted hot dog bun a fried egg and melted cheese and we called it a struggle bun and we still do that for breakfast every morning except the hot dog bun is replaced with just regular toast that's actually kind of cute i like that yeah we call it struggle buns and we have struggle it every buns. morning struggle bun see see that's how you know that you're prepared for anything that day when your breakfast mm -hmm. is called a struggle bun so no matter what <laughs> hits you that day you were ready for sure <laughs> Yeah, like I um I have been told like I just the food combinations I make are not natural. <laughs> no, they're not. And I'm glad that you recognize that. It's very I important that you do. It. I do. I used to put like scrambled eggs on cold pizza. Uh <laughs> what the fuck? What is wrong with you? You are a little gremlin elf. <laughs> I am. It was a great hangover cure though, so <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we're talking about hangovers. You could eat anything and, like, stuff it in your mouth hole and it would work as long as it's greasy and bad for you. Mm-hmm. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, on a completely different note, because uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to segue off of that I, at yeah, all. I'm, I'm being thrown under the bus. We're talking about my toenail and my food. <laughs> Cancel live on stream. <laughs> oh my god. This should be called like <laughs> Kitty spilling the tea. Call. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're spilling the tea live on Kitty Clow. Woo! <laughs> it's okay. We're stinky together. We're stinky together. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, is there any sort of, uh, is there any sort of particular mug or glasses or anything that you like to use when you're when you're drinking your your tea or coffee or anything else like that? Oh, you you know it, you know it. I have I have a few Elven mugs. <gasps> um, <laughs> Yo. And, yeah, I have a few that are just like regular. You know, they're like tankards, and you can put like hot stuff in it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I also have my mug that says "What the Elf," and that's yes. my favorite, and that's what I use. <laughs> Yes. What the <laughs> Dude, what was that other? You have a piece of merch that's also like a. Mm -hmm. It's like a spin or not a spin off, like a, a play on words. Can you tell me what oh. what it is? Yes, I I had my first like big merch drop as a YouTuber like last week, and it kind of was like with your spaghetti thing. It kind of <laughs> became a inside joke with my community because. Uh, my character has a fully fleshed out world and lore, mm. so there's like a storyline and we actually do like a roleplay group um, within the world, mm -hmm. so our my community members have like their own characters. That's so uh, cool. And somehow like it became a joke like, you know, the OxyClean dude, like, but wait, there's more, but yeah. wait, there's lore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we ended up slapping that on a shirt. That's so But wait, good. there's lore. <laughs> Yeah, and it's ingenious. Um, I love it so much. It's like me trying to convince people to like check out my stuff. It's like, but wait, there's lore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect. You guys definitely go check it out. If uh, you have a link handy or anything like that, feel free to drop it in the chat because uh, uh, Merlin would. He he's actually the one that helped me design it, Ooh. and he's one of my buds. <laughs> Hats off to Merlin. Hats off to Merlin. Yeah, he's our he's our court wizard. Um, Thank you, Lizard yeah. Merlin. Wizard Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. I really like that. You should put that on a mug, too. Ooh. I really want to. I'm trying to, like, like fix the map where it's, like, a seamless pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so then I can do it on, like, tumblers and, oh. um, you know, stuff like that. I'm that's really, nice. really excited. We also have tapestries. Um Ooh. So I I'm so excited. We're gonna we're gonna be designing more soon, but I'm so eventually. freaking excited. 
Like, because you really have, like, a lot of the stuff, like, fleshed out in, uh, in, like, your community and, like, your story and everything like that. It's really yeah. cool. You've put a lot of, like, work and effort and, like, a lot of love into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, months of, like, sweat, tears, and more sweat, like... <laughs> <laughs> but our our ultimate goal is to actually make a VR chat world um, that is Ooh. our our tavern and our city, and then like hold D and D sessions like in VR chat, like uh, based off of the world. So that'd be I'm super so cool. excited. It'd be super duper cool, man. One of those things, one of the things that I've been like really interested in, um, and I wish I had more time for, is uh, the role playing community on VR chat who will like literally. They'll do like an entire campaign of role playing and play characters within virtual space. And it really makes it that much more real because you're in VR. Yeah, I, I haven't participated in, but I know uh, Callus Rowe is a really big one. I think CC yes. and a few other VTubers I know um, are a part of that one. Um, I would love to eventually host something like that, but I can. That'd be so cool. It sounds like a logistical nightmare. <laughs> yeah, right? For real, though. But it would be like so amazing, and and especially like, see, here's one of the amazing things about live streaming is like you can you can basically record everything, you can have you know everything, and if if everybody who's a part of it records their own perspectives and you can have a really cool video but then at the end of the day who's gonna edit that who's gonna edit oh, down a hundred thousand hours from five different perspectives oh like, god some poor some poor somebody <laughs> <laughs> right i feel like that's the hardest part because like i would love to like get to know like about like more stuff like that it would be really cool but just like editing all that down i feel like would be the the hardest the hardest part but if it's possible to be done, God, it'd be such an amazing thing to sit down and like watch and enjoy. Like a full length movie. Like yeah! that would be Like do you think that they'll ever uh like basically record movies in that format? Like could you imagine like animated Ooh. movies where people actually like acted out in full body? Dude, it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. In the future? Absolutely, a hundred percent. I feel like it's just the future, especially like uh, as technology starts to improve like more and more, you know, what one thing that's always really interested me about like uh, technology and I guess in uh, not not exactly movies, but uh, video games is the usage of uh, like the, the, the facial tracking and the body tracking to where they'll literally make a video game and they'll have a cutscene, but they'll look like mm. a, a semi realistic person and like their face yeah. will move like a realistic person. And it's really amazing how they do that. It's sometimes on Kenny Valley, but they've been getting <laughs> so much better about it lately. And oh, I'm just yeah. like, whoa. Yeah, I took a few like video, um, video editing or not video, visual effects courses mm -hmm. in school, and uh, we actually covered um, on that and like how they do it, and it's it's really really, really cool and super in depth. So like we actually oh. ended up doing like a basic version of that like as an assignment. <laughs> Yo, really? Yeah, because that's like in really high demand right now because it's like a super specific job. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I definitely that don't want to do it. <laughs> It's so particular, I feel like, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, you basically have to mask every, it's live 2 d but for a human face that's <laughs> moving, and it's bad. Right, right, right. Yeah, it always seems, like, super tricky to, like, get just right, you know? Mm hmm But it's amazing when it can be, like, done well, like you said. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I think I, uh, we actually learned that the Polar Express was the first movie to be recorded in that format where it like actually animated over the actors. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. So that was like really like revolutionary at the time for animation. Yeah. Um, but looking back on it, we rewatched it this past Christmas and it oh, definitely no. is in that uncanny valley. <laughs> yeah, it's super uncanny <laughs> valley. It's really scary. You know what? I learned something recently um, and I don't know if it's true, but... I learned that the Barbie movies, the classic awesome Barbie movies we grew up with, that those ones, like the dancing and stuff like that, that was motion captured. And that's why it oh, looked wow. so fluid because they motion oh, captured awesome. all that. Right? But it feels I mean, like, like even even like Disney, they kind of did their version of motion capture. They would record a video of people dancing and then do yes. frame by frame animation on top. I, I learned about that like only a few months ago and I'm like... Phew. 
fucking mind blown. It's insane. Uh, I love animation so much. Me too. Me too. It's so nice. I, I like that we have like all those things in common because like, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. We have a lot in common despite us being like also <laughs> so different. <laughs> For sure. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and, but we also, the other thing that we have in common too that I like is we're both very chaotic and a little bit gremlin. Oh yeah, chaotic, chaotic good. <laughs> yes, yes. To the max. <laughs> <laughs> to the max, yeah, yeah, to yeah. To the yeah. max. <laughs> it's freaking, it's freaking good. I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. All my, mm. all my closest friends are gremlins. You, uh, you got Kairi chan Leaflet, like y'all are like, have such beautiful streaks of gremlin and I love it. <laughs> gremlin squad. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to like, meet up at a convention again. We're so far away Me now. Me too. I know, I know. But hopefully we can like, soon. I hope that, uh, uh, maybe TwitchCon can happen this year. That would be amazing. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Fingers crossed, because that would Fingers be crossed. dang nice. It would be nice to like see all my friends. It feels like, even though it's been like a year, it feels like it's been like five years. You know what I mean? It has. Oh my gosh! Like this past year, I feel like I feel like I've aged <laughs> <laughs> like ten years. Oh, back in my day. Back in my day, we didn't wear masks. <laughs> oh no, you kids wouldn't understand. We licked doorknob doorknobs without fear. And doorknobs. <laughs> doorknobs. We licked both. That's how. That's how. Uh, how much we didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Dude, I would always get sick after conventions before COVID. Like. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh no. I want to like. Oh man, I'm still gonna wear a mask. Be all rogue and sneaky like. It will be Dude, on brand. That'll yeah, that'll fit your aesthetic so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanna get like one of those cowls where I can like loop it around my ears and I can be like all sneaky. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I always thought characters that look like that just look so freaking epic. Like, God, they're so cool. Oh, yes. Yeah, I I strive to be like I don't know if you know the band Twilight Force, but I, I strive to be like Lind from Twilight Force. He Hell is like my yeah. style icon and he he also is an elf. Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> oh man. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I won't. I will I will be the best elf. <laughs> Oh, so it looks like um, the cafe is uh, starting to wrap up a little bit. Um, so Speck and I are going to uh, scoop for a moment so that way they can uh, clean up a little bit around here and, uh, you know, start shutting things down. But we'll meet you in the cafe uh, here in just a moment, guys. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wonderful time here with you today, Spectissa. Um, did you have a good time and enjoy your tea? I did. I'm actually going to make another cup. <laughs> Ooh, heck Take it yeah. To go. <laughs> there you go. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. I'm uh, finishing up the rest of mine now, and uh, I might have to get one as well. It's really good. I like it a lot. Mm. Um, I think Abba said that she made hers into a bit of a latte because she loves make making lattes, so I might have to, I might have to ask for some of that milk in it. 
Oh, for sure. I have, I have some like vanilla almond milk. I feel like that would do like really well with this. Ooh, yeah, that sounds really good. Oh, here's here's a good question for you. Are, are you more of like a milk kind of person or do you like to put cream in like your coffee or your uh, tea? I like Italian sweet cream. Ooh! Um, yeah, so that's what I put in my coffee every morning. I put that and I also put cinnamon in my coffee. Because uh, yet again, I like spice. Yeah, it's yeah. Really good. Because, like, I don't know if you've had the cinnamon dolce uh, coffee from Starbucks, but very good. Yes, that is so good. <laughs> Have you tried their new, um, their shaken espresso drinks? Uh, the cold foam? Uh, the cold and it, it's, no, no, no. It's the, um, but I do like that. Uh, it's the one, uh, it's the, the one made with, like, almond milk and, uh, oh, oh, brown sugar shaken espresso, I think it's called. I have not, but I want to. It's really good. It's really good, especially if you need a pick me up. <laughs> oh, I stop sure. there. Add some spiced <laughs> rum to it. Ooh, that actually oh, that does so sound good. good. Oh. I think that's called like a, a hot a hot toddy. Is yeah, it, like, a hot yeah. toddy. I think so. The name's familiar, at least. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to help us sore throat. Dude, that's one of those crazy things too. Is like, um, I feel like. I feel like some people growing up would use like certain kinds of alcohols to help them like, you know, like get over a sickness or something like that. But I feel like we don't have as much of that anymore. But I guess technically was did they have laws back then about like out, like minor drinking alcohol? When you said like back then, I thought you were talking about when we were kids. And I was like, <laughs> I don't think people were like force feeding a five year old whiskey, but... <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, no, I, I I think like alcohol was seen like as medicine for like the longest time until like, I, I guess like maybe the 20s is when they started to like have laws around it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know my history. Yeah, <laughs> but, I don't either. <laughs> Very well. And then there's like a lot of like old remedies like that where it's like, true, you know, whiskey or gin mixed with random stuff. <laughs> Some grass from your backyard. <laughs> Oh yeah, some dirt. Yeah. Hey, hey. Some people say like dirt's really good because well, dirt, depending on the kind of dirt, has like a lot of nutrients in it. But I don't know if it's good for you to like digest. I know it's good for like plants. Have you know. have you seen the thing where it's like if you eat at Waffle House as a kid, your immune system will be boosted just because of how sticky and gross it is? Okay, I have a story. I have a story oh. about a time at a Waffle House. I love stories that start with that. <laughs> It's as bad as you think it might be. <laughs> Someone got arrested, didn't they? <laughs> Gosh, that would have definitely made the night even more interesting, actually. No, what happened was is I went to Waffle House because I specifically wanted one of their over medium eggs because they're so good, right? That's how I get mine. Yes, it's yes. so good. And then I also wanted a chocolate chip uh, waffle because I love theirs, you know, and like you put all the butter in there and gets into all the little oh, grooves. That's my exact order. Yes, right? Yeah. Like it's... breakfast chocolate waffle. <laughs> yes, it's so good. It's so perfect. So I'm sitting there waiting for my uh, food to get there. In fact, in fact, I think my food gets there. And I look to my right. And on the countertop crawls a cockroach. He just comes up there. And he like, oh, kind of no. looks at me. And I was like... <laughs> I'm going to pretend that I didn't see you and go back to my food because I won't let this ruin my time in Waffle House. And so I take <laughs> my nap. waffle? Dude, he ain't getting my waffle. I'll fight a bitch for my waffle. <laughs> I took my napkin and I shoot him away and he went away and I pretended I saw nothing and continued to oh, eat. Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen multiple fights at Waffle House and someone <laughs> usually gets arrested. That's... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's just entertainment. I feel like that's what you get for when you pay for Waffle House, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. It's it's like dinner and a show. It's like the mm -hmm. backwards version of medieval times, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a, it's a personal, um, I don't know, personal pact vow I have with myself. Mm. Growing up with Waffle Houses, you know, going like multiple times a week, I have never used a Waffle House bathroom, and I want, I want to never have to. That? <laughs> I've never... <laughs> I've never set foot that. in there. Because if Waffle House is so gross, can you imagine what their bathrooms look like? I've never been in there True. and I never want to. So I've made it my personal mission to never have to use a Waffle House bathroom. That's smart. That's such a smart oath. That is such a smart oath. I'm like the same way with like, um, 
with uh with the with uh, a place that I used to work at. It was a fast food well it wasn't really fast food, but it was like kind of a fast food place. And I I know what goes into like cleaning their bathrooms. And I just not don't much. I just don't trust it. So I'm like, I'm not gonna no. go in there. No. Nope. No. Yeah, like working food service will definitely give you a perspective. Yes. Because like um, to put into yeah. perspective, for those of you who haven't worked like food before. No one wants to clean the bathrooms. It's just someone nope. gets assigned it. And so then if that person is not in a good mood that day, which most of the time they aren't because it's hard to have a good mood there, then the bathrooms get like half-ass cleaned. And then here's the next here's the next thing, okay? If they get half-ass cleaned and the next person that comes in saw that they got half-ass cleaned and they're like, I'm not cleaning up after this person, then guess what? The cycle continues! The, the good old, it'll be morning shifts problem. <laughs> like Exactly. But then if you get a morning shift person who's smart and they're like, I'm not cleaning up after your freaking dirty asses. I'm a, no, mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. Then it just never oh. gets clean. <laughs> Man. I do not miss food service. <laughs> No, I don't think anyone does. I don't know. There's some people who like it. Like some people like working as like a at a register. You know, they like that mm -hmm. human interaction, which I think is fair. But uh, I mean, you you have the cafe now, and I have the tavern, so I guess we're you know back in food service a little bit. But <laughs> true, true, true. But there there are people working. There are people working here. See, I pay them. I pay oh, them. Oh yeah, same. So you know, yeah, I, I'm I'm the princess. I can't you know I can't no, no, bother no. myself with. Plus, I I'm very clumsy. <laughs> probably like fall and like <laughs> oh i don't know if we have time but i do have hmm. a very uh quick clumsy story that happened yes! yesterday <laughs> tell me we must know is, is this an exclusive did you tell anyone else yet i told my mods and i think that's it oh <laughs> you hear that guys it's a spectis exclusive right here on kitty club yes right here um so i i don't know if you saw on twitter i posted a picture of my new corset um, oh. that I got Hell yeah. <laughs> getting ready for a uh, hot winch summer. Um, <laughs> and they have like really long uh, ribbons in the back that ties it. And I was eating some takeout after I uh, took my pictures in it. And I like sit like with my legs tucked under me. Yeah. Um, even in my chair. And I didn't realize that my foot had gotten tangled <gasps> in the ribbons that were hanging off the back of my corset. Oh no! <laughs> So when I got up to um, to put the rest of my food away in the fridge, uh, one of my legs didn't come down, and I oh. fell, and I th I threw noodles everywhere. <laughs> I'll have to send you the picture, but there were noodles like on the door, like. <laughs> And it took me a while to get untangled because, like, the ribbons, like, drag on the floor even when I'm walking. And, like, I couldn't get my foot, like, untangled from it. <laughs> and Soul, Soul wasn't there, so I was all alone. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, Mage May, is one of my mods. He saw the picture. It was <laughs> I, uh, oh, God, it was so bad. So even when I tried to clean it up best I could, but when Soul got back home, there were still noodles and weird <laughs> spices. <laughs> I'm just, I almost threw it on my 3D printer, and I'm so <gasps> happy it missed it. <laughs> Me too, that would have been tragic. Oh, God, yeah, so that, that's a glimpse of how I'm going to be as a waitress at the tap. <laughs> Well, there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Are we back? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was super weird. I just like derped out. <laughs> you know, my, I think my internet went down for a moment. <laughs> but we're back. You know. We are back. Dang, dang uh, Wi-Fi connection here in the cafe is a bit <laughs> spotty. I'm going to have to have them uh, upgrade it. <laughs> well... Thank you so much for that delightful story. If this, uh, if this was- It was the noodles attacking! <laughs> Spectessa, did you bring in some noodles from your freaking home? The noodles are attacking? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I think I think this gives a good a good idea as to what people can expect going into your stream. If you oh want God. to tell people where they can find you, Spectissa, please do. Um, so I'm I'm Spectissa everywhere on Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, um, 
Yeah, it's back to Tissa. I, I post art on um, Twitter mainly and also have a um, Patreon where I have a sticker club. Uh, so yeah, I same name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Comfy, comfy chaos everywhere. <laughs> It's true. It's a hundred percent comfy chaos. I love hanging out in the Spectus streams. I highly recommend it. Oh, mm -hmm. and I my official debut is next month because I I haven't I haven't actually officially debuted as a VTuber yet. So <gasps> that is coming up. How exciting! What can people expect from that? So we do have a lot of really exciting things planned. Uh, I call my community the Guild. So we're actually mm -hmm. going to be revealing the Guild name for the first Ooh. time. And uh, I do have a super secret surprise that we're going to start off uh, stream with. <gasps> and I'm going to be debuting uh, my new 3D model with uh, facial facial tracking and hands. So <gasps> I'm really excited. It'll be the yeah. grand opening of my tavern. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's so exciting. Guys, if you're not following Spectissa, please go drop her follow now because you guys don't want to miss out on that. She's been working so hard on that for the past several months. So definitely my personal recommendation is to check her out. Make sure you're there for her debut in May. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> me too. Me too. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, Spectissa. It was an absolute delight. And uh, it was awesome hanging out with you here in the cafe with everyone else. Mm -hmm -hmm. Thank you for having me. It's been super fun. It has. Thank you so much. Um, I will meet the rest of you guys um, back in my room. Um, so uh, I'll catch you guys there here in just a few minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, kid, you want some tea?